morning, friends. Greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs in sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is always a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, or the longevity products or formulations or skin health issues, skin health, skin ingredients, skin care ingredients, we welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share or if you'd like to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also order products off of pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Those are my blogs, which we update regularly with news stories, as well as blog posts. Thank you to John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren, who set those up. You can also search any of the programs at brightsideben.com or also benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. Okay, welcome back to the bright side. Once again, we're talking about the stress response, emotional and mental stress response, and its relationship to a lack of ease, i.e. dis-ease. The secret to reversing disease is hidden in the word. Dis-ease is a lack of ease. That is a body that's in, in emergency mode. And this emergency mode manifests itself in all kinds of ways. When the body's in an in emergency mode, the digestive system will shut down. So indigestion, problems absorbing foods, intestinal issues, constipation, loose stools, these can all be manifestations of the stress response. Cognitive dysfunction, when we're under stress, when our body is working in emergency mode, blood will be shunted away from the front of the brain into the reptilian brain. Yes, it's actually called the reptilian brain. It's in the back of the brain. This is the part of the brain that's associated with fear and anxiety, insomnia, jitteriness. All of these are associated with the stress response. The circulatory system is so, uh, problems with the circulatory system are associated with the stress response. My friend Rebecca is listening. Hopefully, Rebecca, you're listening. And Rebecca's mom is dealing with, uh, is on warfarin, is on a blood thinner. Rebecca called me yesterday or texted me yesterday. She wanted to know if I could help her mom. Well, guess what, guys? And mom and Rebecca. If your blood is sticky, if your blood is coagulated, if your blood is clotting, that's a manifestation of a stress response in the blood. That's why they give you warfarin or heparin, blood thinning drugs, when you're in surgery. Surgery is a mega stress for the body, and one of the ways the body responds to the stress of surgery is by clotting. Well, one of the ways the blood responds to the stress of surgery is by clotting. It's part of the emergency response. We have an epidemic of blood coagulation of sticky blood, Largely because we're all running hypercortisol. We're all running hyperstress. We're all in emergency mode. Toxins in the blood now can also cause problems with clotting and coagulation. Low levels of oxygen, again, can cause problems with clotting and coagulation. All of these are uh, as a result of the stress response. Mom, if you're on a blood thinner and you want to get off of it, relax the body. Eliminate toxins from getting into the blood, mostly digestive toxins. Make sure you're deep breathing. These are all non-toxic strategies for thinning the blood. I know they're not as sexy as your doctor's recommendation and they're not as cool as a new drug, 
They don't have advertising. There's no advertising for deep breathing. There's no advertising for stabilizing digestive health and preventing toxins from getting into the blood. There's nothing cool and sexy about these strategies, but they work, and they're non-toxic. And the reason our blood is clotting, not because we have a warfarin deficiency, and we need our warfarin levels replaced, or uh, we need to have our warfarin levels ra raised pharmacologically, that's silly. There's no such thing as a degenerative disease that results from a drug deficiency, obviously. The stress response shows up in multiple ways, from constipation to problems with cognition to blood clotting to thyroid dysfunction to heart disease to dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar. Pretty much every single manifestation of chronic degenerative disease, whatever it is, from arthritis to acne, is associated or at least has a component of a jacked up stress response. In this way, everything we're talking about here, you guys, is science. The idea that the mind controls the body is science. The idea that the stress response is behind our degenerative diseases is science. And contrary to popular belief, medicine is not about science. Medicine is about magic. It's about magic pills. It's about magic cures. It's about the great magician called the doctor who will surgically produce health or who will pharmacologically intervene to produce health. It doesn't even make sense when you think about it. How the heck can a drug which by its very nature shuts down chemistry and requires detoxification do our body any good? Now, I'm not saying there's not times that we need drugs. Obviously, there are. If you're in pain, if you have an emergency, a, a hypertensive crisis or some kind of emergency, if you just come out of surgery and your blood is clotting, yeah, there's times you need drugs. If you're in pain, the problem with drugs is our reliance on them, our dependence on them. The problem with drugs is we're not told about alternatives to drugs. We're not told about alternatives to drugs by our healthcare gurus, our doctors. That's because medicine is not about science. Medicine is about magic. Francis Bacon, who was the father of science, said 500 years ago, medicine as a science is more professed than labored, meaning medicine as a science is more gibberish talked about than it is really true. We knew this 500 years ago. When it comes to healing and health, there's two main approaches. One is the doctor approach. It's magical. It uses m magical substances and magical words, naming things. The other is scientific. It's using logic and troubleshooting. Your doctor practices magic. He names things. The bright side is about science. It's about what works. It's about working backwards. It's about engineering. Yesterday, we talked about the warning light on the car. It's about, it's about uh, listening to the warning light. Step one, if you're dealing with a crisis, degenerative disease crisis, digestion. Step two, stabilize blood sugar. Step three, calm the body down. It really is as simple as that, you guys. We spent a lot of time talking about this whole mind-body thing. I love talking about the mind-body aspect of health. It's very, very important. It's critical. As a healthcare professional, it's critical to understand the placebo effect, the nocebo effect, the, psycho, the, the mind-body aspects of psychosomatic medicine. But at the same time, there's wonderful nutritional elements, nutritional supplements that we can use. I want to talk about a few of them. Actually, I want to talk about 10 of them. We'll talk about these for the next few days. These are substances that we can use, nutritional, and, and not all nutritional substances, some of them are hormonal substances that we can use to calm the body down, to deactivate the stress response. One of my favorite all-time supplements, it's not nutritional, but it's a supplement that you can use, a dietary supplement that you, that you can use to calm the body down, to access the relaxation response, to improve cognition, to improve immunity, to improve every single marker of health, is called pregnenolone. Now, if you listen to this program, you know we've talked about this periodically. You're not going to hear it from your doctor. Pregnenolone is a hormone, and it is a pro-hormone. Pro-hormone meaning it, can get, it gets turned into other hormones. So pregnenolone itself is a hormone. Pregnenolone has hormonal effects, and it gets turned into other substances that have hormonal effects. So it can communicate messages to cells on its own. Remember, hormone means I arouse to activity. So pregnenolone has an arousal aspect on cells, and it gets converted into other hormones too, other very important hormones. Hang tight, I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are 
back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. Got a few lines open for you at 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you're advertised on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website. Same with pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, you can go to uh, truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel no preservatives, no fragrance, no emulsifiers, no waxes, no fillers, just stuff your skin uses and needs, nothing your skin doesn't use or can't use and doesn't need, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so please do not underestimate the importance of the relaxation response, whether you're using mental strategies, which are very important, emotional strategies, very important for accessing the relaxation response to reduce the symptomology of chronic degenerative disease, pain, trauma, post-traumatic stress syndrome, depression, mental health issues. Yesterday I talked about a really cool book called Open, I I couldn't remember the name, it's called Open Focus Brain by a guy named Les Femi, H-F-E-H-M-I, and he's got some really neat strategies for activating the relaxation response using your eyes, using something called open focus where you focus through the periphery of your eyes. Usually when we're looking at something, we focus through the center of our eyes. When you focus on something through the center of your eyes or when you look at the foreground versus the background, everything has a foreground and a background. Our visual scenery has a foreground and a background. And for the most part, we're always looking through the center of our eyes at the foreground. This activates the stress response because we're looking for something. We're seeking something. Beta brain waves are activated when we, center, when we look through the center of our eyes. Beta brain waves are fast brain waves that are linked to anxiety issues, all, also problem solving and rationality, but also anxiety. But according to Les Femi in the book Open Focus Brain, when you look at the background versus the foreground, at the context versus the content, if you look through the periphery of your vision, you'll activate alpha brain waves and theta brain waves, which are associated with calming, associated with the para sympathetic nervous system, the relaxation response. Use your eyes. Yesterday I talked about how we grasp with our eyes. It's kind of how we live our lives. We're grasping for things. Instead of letting things come to us, we're always going to get things. But when we let things come to us, we activate the relaxation response. We could do it with our eyes. As you're looking around in your room, you can notice that you have a tendency to reach out towards things that we're looking at. But if we let the light come to us, which is really what's happening when we, when we see things, the light is coming to us. If we relax and let the world come to us, we activate the parasympathetic nervous system. We're not taught this. We're taught to go out and get things. We're taught to go out and do things. Not that that's a bad thing, but when we do it too much or we don't balance it with allowing things to come to us, this can cause an activation of the immune-suppressing, disease-inducing, pain-causing stress response. Another cool book by a guy named John Kabat-Zinn, who's actually a medical doctor. He writes about mindfulness. He has a book called Coming to Our Senses. Coming to Our Senses, again, talks about the link between allowing things to come to us, being aware of our environment, sitting back and watching, activating the relaxation response, and healing. One of my all-time favorite books on the relaxation response and activating the relaxation response is called Come to Your Senses by another medical doctor. I think he's a medical doctor. He's a, yeah, he's a medical doctor. Stanley Block is his name. Come to Your Senses. He's got a really cool technique for, uh, for uh, activating the relaxation response. He says just listening to sounds, just ambient sounds. You know, as we sit in our rooms, there's all kinds of ambient sounds that we don't even notice. The sounds of the air conditioner, the fan, sounds of traffic. There are sounds everywhere. It's almost like a symphony of sounds that we completely ignore. But according to Dr. Stanley Block in the book, Come to Your Senses, simply by paying attention to those sounds, you can activate the relaxation response. This is so cool, you guys. This is, these are health strategies that we can do from the comfort of our own living room. And they ultimately empower us and they disempower the predatory, exploitative medical model that's represented by your kindly MD. Not that your MD is necessarily a 